This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, wanting to take you five days into the future for our July 26, 2022 meeting, which will be at six o'clock at the City Council Chambers. So on the agenda we have for that night, the uh, consent agenda, which is that a part that gets approved when the agenda is approved, unless the council pulls something out to uh, unwrap a little more later on in the meeting. So in the consent agenda, there is uh, confirming the mayor's nomination of Penny Mosher and John Murphy for appointment to the Planning and Zoning Commission with terms ending December 31, 2024. And there's also an uh, introduction of set public hearing date for Ordinance 22-005, which is a rezone tax parcel C21 T18 North R2E as an echo S33, my work, from CL a Limited Commercial to CG Commercial General. Um, and so that's going to be coming up at the, a future meeting, but this is the first reading. All It's all in the packet, so everyone can read it and kind of try to digest it all before that. And then there's the approval of the July 12th uh, meeting minutes. So that's all on the consent agenda, which usually happens fairly quick unless we, as I said, take it out to unwrap it a little further. There's not any communications and appearances. There's a city manager's report, which includes uh, some more explanation on insurance activity because there had been some questions from the council before. And a mayor's report, city clerk's report, city attorney's report on page 57. Then there's audience participation. Uh, we have two public hearings, a resolution 22-021, uh, submitting a question to the city's qualified voters on October 4th, 2022 election, uh, pertaining to eligibility of council members and the mayor. And resolution number 22-005A, amending the city of Palmer budget for the fiscal year ending December 31, 2022. Uh, the one resolution would be if the council passes it, it would be to put something on the ballot for the voters to uh, vote on at our October election. Or if the council doesn't pass it, then it doesn't, it doesn't go on to the ballot. And then there's some unfinished business, um, kind of as a, a side thing to the other resolution is uh, ordinance number 22-004 which was uh, we postponed uh, action on uh, amending the Palmer Municipal Code 2.04.031 and 2.05.020 pertaining to the eligibility of council members and the mayor. Uh, and that's an actual ordinance that the council would vote on. And if it passes, then it would become an ordinance and put into the code for Palmer. Versus the other one, the resolution would be to put it on an election ballot for the for the voters to decide on, and that's uh, basically that's all the um, that's in that packet. And want to remind everyone this is uh, coming up this Friday, the twenty second of July is Palmer Pride Picnic, it happens right down there by the the depot, and we'll be doing some beautification awards. Uh, citizen of the year and having free hot dogs and free vegetables and there's maybe a few community booths out there and just kind of a celebrate palmer kind of day so that's on july 22nd and also in other news uh this week and next week are the two weeks allowed to get packets to complete the packets and get signatures to run for office for the city of palmer so and the way, the way it works in Palmer is there's not a nominating committee or anything like that. We have a petition process. You have paperwork to fill out. You have to get 20 signatures of valid voters in the city of Palmer to essentially sponsor you to get on the ballot. And that's the same for city council or for mayor. And those are available just this week and next week. So this has been Steve Carrington trying to take you five days into the future for our July 26th city council meeting.